Good morning. Here we are Monday morning. Bright. Maybe not so early anymore. Fog is pushing out. Rain seems to have stopped or the sprinkling. Here where I'm at. And I chose a word that came to me through uh, some cards. And the word that came up was listen. And from listen, that's what I'm going to talk about today. And that's what you're doing. For however long, but that's what you're doing. How often do we get messages? How often are we given signs by God in the universe? How often do we go and we don't listen? How often are we in a conversation and we don't listen? How often has somebody told you and you didn't listen? Have you ever wondered what would happen to that whole situation, the whole scenario, to all the questions that you've asked and felt that you haven't been answered? What would happen if you had just listened? How aware would you have to be to be sensitive enough to listen. Even I struggle with this. I struggle with it. Yeah, I have to be honest. I struggle with listening because more often than not, I seem to have much to say. And sometimes I override those in which are talking. So again, another thing that I bring up, another topic, listening, something that I have to work on myself. Yeah. But you know, the point of this is how powerful is it just to listen? Do you hear? Are you actually hear, hearing what's being said? Now, what if you took it a step further? What if you could hear by listening to somebody's vibration? What if you could hear what it is that they're not even really saying? What if you can hear what is coming from their heart, even though what's coming out of their mouth might be something different? Have you ever been around another soul who spoke one way, but you knew it wasn't coming from their heart. I find myself in this situation often, and it confuses me because I haven't quite come to terms with it yet because I still deal with doubt sometimes of my own self, what it is I can do. I consider this a gift, being able to read energy but I'm still acquiring the ability to read energy. So there's still a sense of doubt, which is the ego playing a trick, playing with you sitting inside you, your ego saying, no, you can't do this. This isn't real. Listen to the words, the words say this. So, when you start listening, you will know. When you start hearing everything inside you saying, yes, 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 this is it. This is right. When you truly listen, you will get the signs inside you confirming. you got to watch out because the ego will slip in and try to deny, try to keep doubt playing its role. If you have one of those minds that are very analytical... This is very difficult because the mind and the ego will take control. Your heart will have its say, but it will be almost like it's outnumbered. Like it, it has a say, but it has no, no power because it hasn't yet taken its rightful place in you. Those with the analytical minds. Because everything's got to be in a way that 
makes sense for the mind and the ego. For me, that part is not an issue anymore. I, I'm heart-based. Everything I feel, everything that I hear, it's like it's processed through my heart. And there's still moments where there's doubt. But at the end of the day, when I sit back and I process the things in which I need to process and those that I don't, I don't. But those that are most concerning to me, I will sit back and evaluate. And replay the tape to see if what it was I heard or did I hear, did I listen? Listening is something that's very powerful. I don't know if this is resonating with anybody out there, but for me, listening is a, it's a tool. It's a tool in which you can make your way through a day. Do you hear the sadness in another soul? Even though there are those who might put on a smile, you still feel their sadness inside. There's some that are very good at that. There are some who have put up such high walls that if they see you trying to breach the wall, they will do everything in their power to push you away. But do you, are you listening to what is actually being said? Not necessarily through what they say through their mouth, but what they're saying through their heart. Listening. To listen. It isn't easy. Well... I know for me, it's like all things that I am going through on this journey now, everything is a piece of my puzzle. Everything is a piece in which I have to process. Everything is a piece in which I have to practice. Daily. This is a daily thing. Listening is as powerful as being heard. Sometimes we have to listen more than we need to be heard. So here we are. Monday. Today is going to be a beautiful day. And for those of you who decide to make it even more awesome, it's you. You are the director of your day. What are you directing? See what it is you want. See it in your mind's eye and then say it out loud. This is what I expect today. And I expect nothing less. I expect greatness in my day. I expect to move mountains. Mountains being a metaphor for other souls. Souls out here in our path that we come in contact with. Today is the day in which you are going to bring a smile to somebody. And when you make someone smile, when you bring a smile to someone's face, you are actually helping and healing your own self. So you, the healer that you are, go out and heal another soul by giving a kind word, listening to what it is they might have to say. But be awesome. Be this day. Make this day your day. Something good is going to happen to you. If any of this resonates, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook. I've got a YouTube page. If you like, subscribe. Send me a message. I'm here, drinking my coffee right now, preparing for a day, maybe making a video where I put myself in front of the camera instead of sitting behind. Be well, be love, always. And until next time, stay awesome.